So the base is wiped clean and Kike Hernandez jumps on the first one, sends a high fly ball to deep left field, and Hernandez does it again in October. Dodgers strike first. He didn't miss it. <laughs> he really does this time of year. Some of the guys just turn into something else in October. And for Kike Hernandez, his 14th postseason home run in this series loaded with superstar players, that's the most of anybody. 1 0 Deluxe. Ground ball. Diving stop. Jake Cronenworth. A couple defensive gems for the Padres in this second inning. Here it comes. Tatis. Grounds one to third for Max Muncy. Go to second for one. Lux to first. A double play. They finish off this third inning. The first traffic against Yamamoto. When it's rim killing, wipes them clean and ends the inning. Yamamoto gave up five runs in three innings in game one. What do you want to see him change? Biggest adjustment's going to be, can he make his split look like a strike and end up for a ball? Strikes him out. Right now, the slider is very tight, and he hasn't gone to the splitter, which is a good sign. Look how tight this pitch is in the zone. It was in there the whole time and then fades away against a hitter who loves to swing at those pitches away. On this 0 1 from Yamamoto. He pulls it to second. Gavin Lux knocks it down, sticks with it, and ends a 1 2 3 first for Yoshi Yamamoto. Now is 1 2. Ground ball to second. Easy play, Gavin Lux. Two scoreless innings for Yamamoto. Tatis. Grounds one to third for Max Muncy. Go to second for one. Lux to first, a double play. Breaking pitch, pop to right. Mookie Betts. A one, two, three, fourth inning for Yamamoto. Strike three with a fastball. 98 to the knees for the first out of the fifth. Pulls one, right side. Freddie Freeman. Yoshi Yamamoto with five scoreless innings and a winner take all. Here's the 2 1. Hernandez hits it hard. Deep left field. The second home run from a Hernandez. Kike Hernandez in the second. Teoscar Hernandez in the seventh. And the Dodgers have insurance in game five. Well, both the Hernandez home runs were no doubters. They were gone as soon as they hit it. And that pitch right there, you saw where it caught the inner half. Darvish knew it. His catcher knew it. And this crazy crowd knew it. You Darvish for the Padres, the game two winner, just a run on three hits over seven innings in a game, John, where he was 60% breaking balls and it worked. Do you follow the same script or do you change it up? That's the million dollar question. Do you zig or zag or do you just stay with the plan? And right now I would stay with the plan. He has such a good feel. You will know in the first inning whether or not that curveball is connected because he can throw it six different ways. Strikes him out. First inning, but could be one of the game's biggest pitches. Again, I know it sounds crazy, but with the inability to hold runners and the Dodgers needing to get off to a good start and a lead, Otani is really not in God on base when there's been nobody on. And this payoff pitch, Hernandez chases strike three. The 2 2 comes home. Hernandez. Yes. All right, you don't need the whiteout. He strikes out anyways. Now Darvish is now retired nine straight. Chase is right here for strike three. 0 for 2 here in game five. Grounds this ball to short. And you Darvish has cruised since the home run. Otani's just one of eight against you Darvish lifetime. Leads off game five for the Dodgers. And it takes a fastball for a strike, which it's that's what everybody does. But this is like second level Correct. thinking. By yeah, Darvish. that's a great pitch because of what we just talked about. Everyone looks at film. Otani looks at film. I'm looking at film to see the trends of how they battle against each other. Ball back to back fastballs and he got squeezed right there. Well he got squeezed because his, his catcher was setting up up above the zone and had to reach down and presented that ball in a way that looked like it was out of the zone when it caught the zone. Otani saw 14 pitches from Darvish in game two and only one of them was a fastball. Sees two of them to begin this at bat. On this 1 1 pitch, let's see what he gets. It is a slider, a splitter, down and in ball two. Well, even though he threw the first two pitches were fastballs, it's still going to be every at bat's going to have at least a splitter, curveball, slider thrown to him. And what makes, Ota what makes Otani so special is he can get to most of them. But if I'm Darvish, I get it away. 2-1. Swing and a miss. Cutter over the plate. 
And see he struck him out on that pitch. On a backdoor cutter. And that one actually went the other way. He was trying to bury it in, but it got it. Got it away. And I still think that's the recipe to get Otani out is away. On 2 2, Otani takes in the dirt and the count goes full. One out of eight against Darvish in his career, the guy that he grew up dreaming of being. I don't want to have full of hyperbole in this game, but you can make an argument that this pitch right here is the difference between a double. If you walk him, it's a double. He's going to steal second. Yeah, Darvish has a really hard time controlling the running game, and Otani, we know about him on the bases. Strikes him out. First inning, but could be one of the game's biggest pitches. Struck him out the first time. He's now one for nine against Darvish lifetime. Yeah, it starts him with a splitter here. He flashed a couple fastballs in the first at bat, which is newsworthy. You're just about 10 a.m. tomorrow in Tokyo at this point. The whole country eyes on this matchup. One of the biggest games in Japanese baseball history here in the big leagues. Now, on an 0 1 from Darvish, Otani takes it in the dirt. One ball, one strike. Two of the 71 big leaguers to come from Japan facing off both in the pitching matchup and in this pitcher hitter matchup here. From Masanori Murakami, reliever for the Giants in the 1960s through Hideo Nomo and Ichiro and Matsui. And now this golden era for Japanese stars in the big leagues. One of them at the plate here, Otani. Pops it up on the left side of the infield for Machado. Two out. Too close for comfort for his Dodgers here in the sixth. Fouls off the first one from Darvish. I mean, there is so much pressure on him in a magical year. It's almost impossible to continue that in the postseason consistently enough. He's going to be so marked from the pitchers who attack him to the relievers that come in that would never come into a regular season game like that. They just wouldn't. Mm -hmm. You're not facing the Dodgers in game 105 and bringing in a lefty specialist in the fifth inning. Then that's what's going to happen in the postseason. You're going to get everybody's best every single time you go up there. Had the home run in the first game. Padres have done a good job on Otani. Outside of that home run that he hit against Dylan Cease. That's the base is empty. One gone in the sixth inning. Dodgers don't have a base runner since Kike Hernandez's home run in the second. The 0 2 pitch. Otani takes outside. Now, what he's done this year is even more astounding, and you were kind of touching on this, but when you consider everything he's dealt with off of the field, with the pressure that the contract brings, and with everything that going to a new team brings regardless of how much money you sign for. Chase is right here for strike three. Will Smith runs first pitch throw down is not in time and the Dodger catcher has swiped second. First stolen base for L.A. since game two. Went on first move. Stayed on the back. Bang bang play but he's in there. Tatis the last hope for the Padres. Ground ball to third, picked by Hernandez. The Dodgers punch back and head to the championship series. They retired the final 19 Padres in game five. They finished the series with 24 consecutive scoreless innings. And with a shutout in game five, the solo home runs from Kike Hernandez and Teoscar Hernandez, plenty for the Dodgers to get the revenge over the Padres.